Hi everyone, I'm Matt Hetherington and this is the first video in my series of video tutorials and technical table tennis tutorials. And the first videos that I'm going to be making are going to focus on different service techniques or different executions of service techniques. So this service tutorial is going to break into just three steps how to learn and develop the reverse pendulum serve. And it's a serve that is very, very useful uh, in matches and to serve that most people struggle to execute the technique of. So hopefully by using these three steps, and these are three steps that I use with my students and when I'm coaching people who need to learn or improve the serve, hopefully they will be delivered in a way that's easy for you guys to understand and easy for you guys to implement yourselves so that you can learn or improve this serve. Okay, so we're going to start with the first step out of three, which is the weight transfer aspect of the serve. And we're going to use a technique that I call a rocking step. Okay, so I'm going to show you now the weight transfer or the rocking step part of the reverse pendulum serve. Okay, so the first step out of the three is purely focused on weight transfer. Okay, weight transfer and the timing and execution of the weight transfer in the serve. So you don't need your racket okay to do this part of the exercise and to practice this in the beginning you do not need your racket okay so you're going to start with what's called a rocking step so when we serve in table tennis we build up acceleration through our body into the ball contact to create spin okay the more acceleration we have the more spin we can put on the ball so if you look at a serve like a pendulum serve there's a lot of torque and rotation through the waist and through the core that go into the ball to create that acceleration. With the reverse pendulum serve, because the action comes from around the opposite side to the ball, it's harder to generate that kind of acceleration through your waist. Okay, you can't twist like this when you're doing a reverse pendulum serve. So people use a technique called a rocking step. And one of the players you can look at in particular that you can notice this weight transfer from is Jung Ji Ke, who won the Olympic Games in 2012 in London. Okay, if you watch him execute a reverse pendulum serve, you can see this technique being used. So the basic concept of a rocking step is pulling your body weight back onto one leg and pushing it forward. And you'll notice as he does the serve and he builds up like this, his body weight comes back up and then pushes down. Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, from a side on point of view, what a rocking step looks like and how to execute it. So, in order to execute a rocking step, I want you to watch my feet, okay? So, when we prepare for a table tennis serve, our body weight comes forward onto this knee, okay? Our we focus our body weight here, which is where we're going to throw the ball up and it's where we're going to contact the ball, okay? So, your center of gravity has to be here. That means your body weight's loaded onto this leg, your chest is forward, your shoulders are forward, and your head is close to where the ball is. That helps you also throw the ball up straight. Okay, so you don't wanna be back here. Everything has to focus on this area here. So when we're executing a rocking step, we're gonna pull this toe back and put the body weight back onto this hip or onto this leg. So this becomes the foundation that we're Kind of balanced on and then we're going to push forward back onto this leg so we come up from this leg and then we push forward we come up so we're bringing this toe up and then pushing forward so you're creating a rocking step motion okay your body weight comes back and then it goes forward so as your body weight comes forward that momentum pushes into the ball okay and at the same time you use a kind of twisting motion okay back and forward back and forth okay so you're kind of opening your shoulders out a little bit and then coming forward into where the ball is so it's good with this serve to practice just with the ball without the racket that way you can focus the timing you throw the ball up and making sure that your ball toss is straight okay so body weight up body weight down body weight up body weight down okay you can just repeat this so your body weight comes up and then it goes down, okay? You can even use this hand to kind of push your body weight here, okay? So that's how you execute a rocking step. 
and that is the first step in learning the reverse pendulum so the second part of the three steps is called making a square or making a box okay so you have rocking step is step one step two is making a box so this is for the shape of the service technique okay so don't worry about the rocking step for the moment so you're going to start with your racket obviously gripping between your finger and your thumb with these fingers just supporting and you're going to try and keep this part of your racket over your wrist okay that helps you with your range of motion okay if your racket's in line like this you're not going to be able to do this okay so it needs to be able to go over your wrist okay so we're going to draw a square so basically how it works is i'm going to pull my racket towards me and pull my elbow back and bring it up and around and you can just see now as my racket comes over i have made a square okay so i've made a box here okay that is all you need to do for the second step okay draw your racket back make a box so you can see at 90 degree angles my elbow and my forearm my forearm and my wrist and my racket and then the rest of my body okay so that is step two rocking step step one step two make a box the third step of the reverse pendulum serve tutorial is the flick okay or the flick out so you've done your rocking step you've made a box now you need to execute the serve Okay, so one of the biggest areas that people make mistakes is that they use their arm to try and accelerate. That is incorrect, okay? Using your arm is too slow. You have to flick out and you do that with your thumb and finger, okay? In this kind of motion, okay? It's as if you're throwing a frisbee, okay? And a little bit of wrist motion as well, okay? So that is the last part and that comes on to the contact of the ball. So you have your body weight transfer going forward and then you maximize your spin by flicking out, okay? So, this is what it looks like. You draw your racket back into a box. Now, this is gonna be moving forward, okay? Because you're still rocking forward, okay? So as you're rocking forward and making this box or making this square, you're gonna move towards your ball contact, which is here, okay? And then, as you get to your ball contact, you're going to flick out okay so you flick out from the from the square okay so if you put steps one two and three together this is what's going to happen you're going to throw the ball up as this toe is coming backwards okay so this toe is coming backwards as this toe is coming up and the ball is going up i am drawing my racket back to make a square okay so i draw my racket back I get to the top and I've started forming my square and then as my body weight's coming back down and my racket comes towards my body, the square becomes complete. I'm moving towards the ball. My body weight comes down onto this front leg and when I get to the ball, I flick out, okay? I use my wrist to flick out. So I'm gonna show you a normal speed and slow motion demonstration of the serve using the three parts of the technique. The rocking step, making a square, and then flicking out. Okay. I'm going to show you now this demonstrated slowly. So I get low, body weight forward, chest forward, focusing on where I throw the ball up and where I'm going to contact the ball. As I do my rocking step, I make a square, I'm going to flick out at the end. Okay. So draw it back and flick. Okay, that's slowly. So I'm now going to show you a handful of these serves at both regular speed and in slow motion so that you can see the technique in action. And now here are some in slow motion. So make sure you watch for those three steps as I do these serves.
All right, so that's my first tutorial video, the three steps to learning and improving the reverse pendulum surf. Hopefully, those are three steps that you'll find useful if you're learning this serve or if you're just starting to develop this serve. Uh, if you have any questions, you can reach me at mhtabletennis at gmail.com, on Facebook or Instagram at mhtabletennis, or by commenting in the YouTube video section below. I am always around to help people out if they do have any questions, so please don't hesitate. Hopefully you've enjoyed and learned from this tutorial and go out there and practice the reverse pendulum surf. Thank you guys.